sometimes when I first talk to uh, potential clients on the telephone, one of their main concerns is, my first question is, do I even need a lawyer? And um, a lot of the times uh, I, I answer no. I mean, it, it, it depends, right? So we're going to talk about the kind of factors uh, when it depends and uh, what it depends on. So, so uh, let's talk about here's the yes. That's a weird looking knee. Okay. Um, e. Yes. Okay. And no. Okay. That'd be the other choice. <clears throat> All right. So. So what the first situation where I would say, no, you don't need a lawyer, that would be is if you're offered, um, if you're offered what's called like PTI um, or DAP, it's a, a diversionary program. Now, okay, diversionary program. So it means it's diverted from the normal course of uh, of a case and this relies on a power of the DA the district attorney the DA has a power called prosecutorial discretion and what that means is that a DA can choose not to prosecute somebody uh, so they can they can choose instead of so they may do if it's a, and usually there's a situation where if it's uh, not not a really serious crime, like nobody got hurt or anything like that, and uh, it's somebody who they who's never been in trouble before usually, and there's they, they feel like you know okay the person learned their lesson they're not going to do it again that kind of thing. Um, that's that's usually the kind of person the, the good candidate for a diversionary program. Uh, so what they do is they say, okay, you, you do these things and, uh, and we'll keep an eye on you for a while, maybe like a year or two. <clears throat> and if you stay out of trouble and you, you do this list of things, we won't prosecute you. So there won't be a conviction on your record. You won't have to go to court or anything like that. So sometimes this is called PTI. I, I used this a little while ago, pretrial intervention. So it's intervening in the situation before for trial so sometimes it's called dap dap da's probation so it's like okay instead of putting you into the legal system and convicting you and getting probation and all that we'll do probation in-house and if you if you talk to our probation officer and you 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 do what you're supposed to do and you stay out of trouble We'll we'll let this let it go this time. Okay, it's usually a one-time thing, so uh, you get you get one free free bite of the apple, as it were. Okay, if you're offered a diversionary program, a lawyer's not realistically uh, going to be able to do any better than that normally. I mean, the only thing better than a diversionary program. Uh, is if they just dismiss the charges altogether. And, you, know, you know, sometimes a lawyer can get them to do that, but is it, the question is, it's, is, is it worth it? <clears throat> so what you you really have to do is look at a risk risk versus rewards thing. So this is, this is what I explained to uh, my potential clients. It's like, okay, what what is it going to cost you if you go forward without a lawyer? Well, there are usually fees associated with diversionary programs. There, if you're if you're convicted of a misdemeanor, the fees usually you know usually something like one hundred fifty dollars plus court costs, whatever. So you you look at what the what the costs are for this, what the costs are to you, worst case or, or you know what what they're what what you know they're going to do, and you look at that versus what's going to cost. A lawyer to hire a lawyer and um, you consider a lawyer is usually going to be like low four figures for uh, a misdemeanor or a minor felony so uh, you know so you're looking at like you know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars maybe something like that for a for a, a, a for a, a, even a, a minor case 
and and then there's no guarantee. Like you you know you could hire them to to oh I want better than a diversionary program, pay the lawyer a thousand dollars. Well, lawyer does whatever they can. It's like well, sorry, you're still stuck with the diversionary program. So uh, you know, in, in that kind of situation, yeah, you uh, maybe you don't need a lawyer. So if a lawyer's if a lawyer's not going to be able to get you anything better, or is unlikely to get you anything better. Than, uh, than what you need a lawyer for. So here's a big category of when you do need a lawyer. When you're looking at a felony. Felonies are very serious. There's, there's two categories of crimes in Louisiana. There's misdemeanor and felony. Misdemeanor, minor, felony, major. So now a felony covers a very broad range. There's some felonies that are not really very serious and then there's you know there's murder and there's like you know major major felonies we don't have a classification system they're just felonies but really any kind of felony has very serious repercussions so you really need a lawyer to if you're going to uh, deal with a felony if you're going to have a, any kind of felony situation and this is i mean if you can't afford one they appoint one right you really, really need a lawyer. Uh, so, so that's so now. So, misdemeanors. Then that's where it's kind of a give and take. So, the kind that you you don't necessarily need a, need a lawyer is, you know, I would say a minor misdemeanor, and I'll, I'll show you what some of the, I'm just M I S D. These are misdemeanors where the you know the fine's not more than one hundred fifty dollars uh, plus maybe some court costs, and your the, the 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 ramifications of getting convicted are not serious. Like you're not going to lose your job, you're not going to lose your family. You know you might be a little bit embarrassed or something like that. This would be like you know disturbing the peace or. Uh, uh, some kind of like minor trespassing thing or something like that, you know, where it's it's not going to really affect you, but you know, so you could hire hire an attorney for a thousand dollars or or more, two thousand dollars, whatever. Maybe they can get you a diversionary program there, but or you can just take the misdemeanor, pay a hundred fifty dollar fine, whatever, you know, something like that. So you see, it's it's cost benefit. You have to do like a cost benefit kind of kind of analysis here. So now let's talk about the misdemeanors where you do need a lawyer. <clears throat> I would say any misdemeanor involving violence, okay, is is the first kind. Uh, a crime of violence, even if it's a misdemeanor, has serious repercussions that you really should talk to a lawyer about, um, especially, especially if it involves family. That's, there, there are like federal implications uh, with, with any kind of violence involving family. So domestic violence, okay. <clears throat> so any kind of misdemeanor like this, you really should, should hire a lawyer. Anything involving dishonesty. And that is because this will affect your employment. There's some jobs you just you won't be able to get because you know you don't want to have they're, they're not gonna hire someone to handle the money if they've been convicted of theft and you know things like that, right? So the third kind is children if it involves children in any kind of way that can have serious repercussions in your future um, and the fourth one I would say is DWIs DWIs are misdemeanors but they have very serious repercussions it causes your insurance to go up uh, you could have problems with your employer you could uh, they get worse every with every conviction. So the second second one still a, still a misdemeanor, but it's uh, it's uh, more 
there are more consequences. You have to do a lot more, a lot more community service, pay a higher fine, things like that. Third one and up, felony. They take your car, they put you in jail, they do all kinds of stuff to you. So DWI, even if even if it's a misdemeanor one, first or second offense, very serious, and you really should talk to a lawyer. So, so what's the answer? If if it's if if it's if the consequences are serious, you need to hire a lawyer. That's really the bottom line. 